Across the UK, many schools are struggling to hire teachers, especially in subjects like physics, business studies, DT, computing and MFL. Schools are facing two major challenges. Firstly, there is a shortage of qualified teachers, which means schools have to find long-term cover for day-to-day -day lessons. Secondly, relying on temporary agencies for cover is expensive and often results in not so great teaching quality. So we've had to get creative. We didn't just want to fill empty teaching position. We wanted our students to actually learn in the classroom with challenging curriculum. So we've came out with the idea of graduate teacher program. These graduates are either people who have just finished university and want to become qualified teachers by working in schools, or they are students taking a break before starting university. What's my specialism? Yeah. Like chemistry? Yeah, chemistry. Yeah, chemistry and biology. Okay, what did you get by doing? A star A. That's very good. Thanks. Well, I don't know why you're embarrassed. What would you get? Three stars. Yeah, so I am taking a gap year. Yeah. I've got an offer to study medicine okay. uh, next year. Well, well, wait, 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 what? You, what Not as good as you, but I got three A's. Very good. Seriously. So you, you know, clearly, you know, you guys are very bright. For university, I did computer science. I passed in that recently in 2022, graduated with a first class degree. Teaching seems easy, but it's actually pretty tough. It's downwards. What's going to happen? We've identified three main challenges in this area. First, the cognitive load challenge. Second, the novice versus expert challenge. And finally, the delivery challenge. To make sure our young teachers are well prepared for the challenges in the classroom, we have devised an initial two weeks intensive training program. These are some of the things that you will have to develop in the next two weeks. How you speak to a class how you address a class. In, off, out, everybody quickly, come on. 10, nine. Yeah, I feel like your voice needs to come out. Like, stop talking. Please, like, make it clear that you're... Okay, today the KO is learning about renewable and non-renewable energy. So, <laughs> Three, two, before one. I start, I like to... Yeah, Wait, what? <laughs> That's what I mean. You might make that mistake, you know, in the classroom and teachers do make mistakes like that and it's okay to do so what would be the best course of action to try and remedy that situation when i say go i yeah, said come before just lock position hand lock two good front row when i say go and not a second before okay so as we enter in off out you've got 10 seconds to get your equipment out for the last person that enters the room let's go please good afternoon oh how did your mom go that was tense man. It was very tense. Teaching is hard because guess what? You've got 30 people in your classroom who, if they don't have very clear rules, systems, and structures, things can go badly wrong. I know it's half with the because it's right here, it's half with the. So, young lady, what grade is Liam aiming for? Okay, I'm quite impressed with your intellectual preparation. Um, it's pretty good. I'm not sure if you can see this. Very detailed, very structured. Oh, you've got a good projection of the voice. You're firm, you're positive. Um, so what they did was they met with their mentors yesterday. Yeah. Um, and essentially they planned what part of the lesson they would go in and yeah. carry out a play. Okay. What they're doing now is writing out the script for the play. When I say go, not yet, please. You're fidgeting, thank you. Um, and then standing behind your chairs in silence when I say go. Three, two, right. one, go. She's doing really well actually, very good. Um, yes. What I've observed from uh, play one, yeah. she did her countdown. One, standing slant please. No more fidgeting, facing the front, standing behind your chairs in silence. I, I think you're, you, you're very confident. Thank you. Okay, and uh, you know, you dismissed them really well. You know, you insisted that when you asked them to slant, 
um, and also means of participation. Some of them were being eager. Always the case, isn't it? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm glad you actually uh, highlighted the common misconception. That was really, really well done. That was very clear. A lot of people don't do that. So you've done it. So well done to you. Having a timer could really be really helpful um, because students know what they have to target um, when they're targeting for. When you move on to the second bit, we do bit, that needs to be clear. Then you say, okay, I'll demonstrate this to you. You check for understanding, you highlight the common misconception. Then you say, right, now we're going to do this together. So, so far, I've practiced how to engage students. I've practiced certain plays. I really like that there's a play one, two, a play ten, and yeah. it's in chronological order. So, for example, my mentor, Mr. Yeah. Khalid, yeah. we'll go into other classes and we'll, we'll look at other teachers, and yeah. no one's perfect. He said that, that everyone's yeah. going to have their faults. Yeah. So, we'll go in, we'll see, and we'll see what they can improve on. So, it's almost like we're getting a little bit from everyone, so you can almost make a perfect teacher. Okay. Now, I've done what I need to do. We've done some, you know, another question similar collectively. Any question? No? Great. Now I expect you to do this by yourself. Then you, when they do it, you can just come and check. Walk around and check. Our young teachers have really impressed us. Here is how they're doing six weeks into their jobs. Slide, please. Thank you. I haven't modeled the question like this just yet. Okay. So just fine. Just yeah, that's fine. Nice that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Another elastic potential object is on a slingshot or a slinky. A slingshot or slinky, both good answers. Very well done. Okay, so you're doing the challenge. Keep it up. Should they be in silent slope, sir? Yes. Okay, just if you just re reinforce that. Okay, and three. Pens down, back in slam, please, looking this way. Well done, front row, that just pets down. Wow. Okay, remember, for the remainder, can we do it in silence, please? If you need me to mark your work, can you please raise your hand so I can move you up? Okay, and back to work in three, two, one, and go. Good, so we're always making sure our planting foot, the foot that we're standing on, is always staying on the ground. Three, two, one, over your voice and hold it, hover it with both hands, right? And then when I say go, show me. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So if you, if you, if you can see, so if, you, if you just scan it for me, just, that's your subject. Turning and talking to the person next to you, what does directly proportional mean? Three, two, one, go. Hovering, fire, 10 seconds think. What is the role of the digestive system? Okay, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. Turn and talk with the person next to you. Off you go. Go up and move your to the Okay, so you're Well done, Marion. You can move yourself up to consolidate This special project not only tackles a challenging gap we find in the education sector, but it also equips young adults with skills that they need that goes beyond just teaching. It's an opportunity that you will not find anywhere else in the UK.